Hi, in this video, I'm going to be reading an email I received from a viewer and answering it. If you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I have not read this email yet, so this is going to be pretty exciting. I hope it's an interesting one. Here we go. So the person's name is Donovan, and the subject is how to gain self-confidence in my math abilities and concepts. Hello, my name is Donovan, and I'm a first year student at, I'll leave that information out, I'm majoring in mechanical engineering and I am just finishing up my first semester in college. I'm just reaching out to you because I recently stumbled across your YouTube channel while I was perusing the site looking for math help. From the five plus videos that I have watched so far, I enjoyed the context and I think it is meaningful. For myself, I am a person who naturally second guesses just about everything. I think this is just common with engineers. I struggle with having a real confidence in myself and doing different mathematical concepts. I am a hard worker, and most people at my school are. I think I try at least to go the extra mile in courses and in life, with things like studying a lot, networking, leadership skills, and even in-class assignments. I took Calculus 1 this semester and had to withdraw from it because I wasn't on track to pass the course. My assumptions about me being capable to learn on my own in online school were correct. I knew it was going to be hard, but that's not why I failed. I failed because I just could not learn the material covered in class or the concepts demonstrated by the professor. I don't mean to make this message longer than what it already is, but I guess I would just like to ask you this question. I need more organization in my college structure, in particular with math. I have so many different apps like Khan Academy, Ada Calculus, Mathway, Symbol Lab, Desmos, just to name a few. I do blame a large portion on my failure due to the online learning environment. Not an excuse, just the fact. I can provide more details on my situation if you would like later, but this will have to do for now. Any advice so far on what I have explained? Anything is appreciated. Happy to talk more if you have the time. Thanks. So it sounds like you are taking a class, right? You're taking math in college and you're having a hard time, right? You're having a hard time. And you say in your email that you are studying a lot, you're making an effort, but whatever you're doing is just not working. So you have to do something else. And that's why you've emailed me. So my advice is this, and this is going to sound really silly, but I think this works and it works for me. Um, here's two things I do. So one, get a timer. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description if I remember. I have a little timer. I, I don't have it here in the room here because um, I've been reading in another room. And I basically set the timer for like 30 minutes or an hour and I'll just sit down and read. And lately I've been doing it at random times. Um, when I was in college, I would get up really, really early, first thing in the morning and study, like always. Like always, if I had time in the morning, I would go over, I'd read a little bit before class, any studying I could. And then on test days, I would get up really early, like four or 5 a.m., have some coffee, a really big breakfast with like lots of eggs and you know coffee and, and bread with butter. I mean, a really thick bacon and just a really heavy breakfast first thing in the morning and start doing math. I know it sounds ridiculous, but you know, big heavy breakfast, lots of coffee, mathematics. And and that worked for me. That was something that worked well for me. So studying in the morning is a great strategy. So time your sessions and find out what time works best for you. For me, it's the mornings. My mind is fresh and if I'm sleepy and groggy, which I am, I'm not a morning person. But as soon as I have coffee, boom, I'm ready to go. And if you can't tell, I just had tons of coffee. So like tons of coffee and it just gets me going and it gets my mind fresh and I'm more productive then. So I think try that. That might work for you. And also try the timer thing and try not to get distracted. Try to have focused study time. You mentioned all these different apps. That's one of the problems I agree with online, right? You have all these different uh, ways you can learn. Also try to learn without being online. I know that's tough because a lot of times you have like online homework, but try to get a book, a, a, a good pencil with a good sharpener and a good eraser and some good paper, you know, use your favorite paper. I like paper with no lines. And then just try to find a quiet area so you can sit down and work. So those are my study tips that I have for you. So a timer, a good quiet location where you can study, try studying in the morning and try to you know keep your phone away, keep your computer away when you're studying, just make it focused study time. And I think you're going to find that when you do that, you're going to do a lot better, especially if you have that, that focus time. Your title was about gaining self-confidence in your abilities. And I think once you have one success, it's going to keep happening because 
when you have one success, it's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel like you can do it and you're just going to keep getting better and better. So I think you're on the right track and I think you're going to be okay. If anyone has any advice for Donovan, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.